Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutty, black with the purple strip. What's good, Ravens fam? So, um, man, just Stephen A says he spoke to someone um, that was in Lamar's camp. Uh, here's the video. Um, listen, I was connected to uh, someone in, in Lamar uh, Jackson's camp yesterday. Um, and, and leave me up on the screen with the split screens, please, because I want to see Kimberly and Ryan when I'm saying this. Um, I was connected uh, to Lamar Jackson's camp yesterday. Um, and I was absolutely emphatically assured Lamar Jackson has never asked for a fully guaranteed deal. A, they have never asked for a fully guaranteed contract. B, the number that the Baltimore Ravens stopped at was $133 million guaranteed. This is with them knowing Deshaun Watson got $230 million, that Kyler Murray got $189 million, that uh, uh, Russell Wilson got $165 million. The Ravens supposedly, according to Lamar Jackson's camp, has stopped at $133 million. Now that is an insult, if true. There is no excuse to lowball. That is a lowball offer in today's market. Everybody and their grandmama knows it. Deshaun Watson is the outlier. We got that. They don't have to. Ravens are no obligation to meet that crazy deal that the ball, that the Cleveland Browns gave Deshaun Watson. But don't tell me that what Kyler Murray got, Lamar Jackson doesn't deserve. Lamar Jackson deserved $200 million guarantee. And I also heard that this guy, Todd Montkin, who's the new offensive coordinator for the Baltimore Ravens, who came from Georgia, not one of the NFL teams from Georgia, although the reigning two-time national champions, Lamar Jackson was never consulted or talked to or asked what his opinions would think. He was informed, this is your new boss at the offensive coordinator spot who will be calling plays for you, et cetera, et cetera. Doesn't have a number one receiver, even though Bateman and DuVernay, not Ava DuVernay, Devin DuVernay, not Ava, Devin. All right, even though they, they can play, he has no number one Stop. receiver, has no number one tight end, and this is what his situation is. And so with all of that being considered, again, his durability is a question mark. There is nothing wrong with the Ravens being suspect about that. But I'm finding it a tad bit odd that all of these stories and these questions are coming out about Lamar Jackson, that to me is evading the issue. Baltimore Ravens, did you or did you not lowball this man with an offer of 133 million guaranteed? Because that is a lowball offer. If that answer is yes, you are trying to screw him over. Okay, so I um, 133 guaranteed, fully guaranteed, like this, that, that. That, that can't be real. But then on the other end, a part of me believes that. A part of me believes that bull. Like they will offer him that. We've heard Ed Reed say before, after his rookie deal, they pretty much low bought him. They gave him less money than what he really deserved. And it's just... And you think about they, it's just so much. Like, they lie so much. And for as a fan, it just gets very tiring. Because, like, can you say something that we can believe? I understand when it's the season and you got to do a competitive edge. You don't want to let all the information out and all that type of stuff. But... This is a guy in Lamar Jackson that has sacrificed himself so much. You gave away his friend, his number one wide receiver, Hollywood. You gave him away because you wanted to keep Greg Roman, which Greg Roman continually treated Lamar pretty much like a running back. With so designed plays to have a quarterback run. And you're going to offer Lamar Jackson $133 million guaranteed. But the rumors were saying that they, you, you offered him the second highest. 
I, I'm I don't I don't know what to believe. I, I believe I'm I'm a, you know what? I'm gonna believe Steve Smith said the truth because that's the, that's that's a Raven's way to lowball a person like that. They've done it plenty of times. You pay Raquan, okay, that's cool, but that 133 like. Lamar, you gonna give that man a hundred MVP without without him being a star of your team sucks. Save the head coaching job. You're not giving him any help. You're not doing good in the draft. It don't make sense. It doesn't not make sense. Then he also said, you know, my hardball kept saying, you know, Lamar's going to have input in the offensive coordinator. And rumor has it, they just say, hey, Todd Monkey, that's your offensive coordinator. He had no input. The way it just all came together, just in 100% makes sense. It's like they've fallen into the narrative of people saying Huntley could be our quarterback or we can draft that quarterback prospect that's from Florida. And it's just like, what? So you're really just going to start all over because you're just ignorant. The best to just pay you out. You should have paid him in 2020. Hey, 2021. You, you had multiple times of paying him. And I know some people are going to be like, well, they tried to, and Lamar didn't want to talk to him. Yeah, Lamar said he didn't want to talk to him in the season. But they, they it's their fault that they waited so long. They had two, three off seasons to try that. After he won the MVP, I would have been trying to talk to him. After 2020, would have been trying to talk to him. 2021, try to talk to him. But you're going to wait last minute? That's the Ravens' fault. And it just... It just doesn't make sense. Now, let's just see what happens. And I think it got to a point where, if this is true, somebody's in uh, Lamar Inner Circle hit up Stephen A. If it is true, to me, that's a strategy as well. I'm going to embarrass y'all for this pay you try to give me. For the amount you try to give me, which is very shameful, I'm going to embarrass the organization. I'm going to put this word out, out there. So other organizations will see how ridiculous you are. So every sports analyst can call out how ridiculous the Ravens are acting. Like, dude. And you know... I don't even, I don't know who to blame. I don't know who to blame EDC, Hobbs. I blame Hobbs a lot of stuff. Cause I think he's running. I think he's even doing the drafting. Majority of it, but could be in Cleveland was his pick, and some other people. But it's just like really, hundred thirty three million. You say you're gonna sit there and have a conversation with Lamar and all that stuff, and with the offense coordinator. That turns out to be a lie, possibly. Turns out to be a lie. Why should we even believe you anymore? So if this is true, I'm happy somebody in Lamar camp put that word out. Because they're going to have to pay Lamar anyway. Even if they trade him, and they, that would be very, very stupid. But even if they trade him or something, they're still going to have to pay somebody. Because the cap is going to get higher and higher each year. Just pay the man. Apologize to him. Ask him what he wants. And listen. Because he saved your franchise from being top 10 for so many years. Really top 5 probably. So many years. But shh, I'm hoping this ain't true, y'all. But. I feel that it is. That when they one side of me because Hobbs done told so many lies. I feel that it is. But anyway, so what y'all think? 
Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe. God bless.